Welcome to the Windows and Computer Technology channel and uh, some interesting news about people running Windows 11 in a unsupported PC. So we all know that, you know, there's a license agreement when we use Windows. Um, Windows has a contract and it stipulates pretty much that Windows is not yours. Windows, you've got the permission to use Windows. So when you buy a computer, your computer is yours, but the operating system is not. And that's always been the case. And there's, of course, tons of, you know, little uh, fine print to have Microsoft try to make sure that they can be sued for whatever reason. And that's been the standard contract that they've had all the time. Now, one of the interesting aspects of running Windows 11 on unsupported software, hardware, sorry, is that apparently you'll have a different agreement. You'll have to sign or click yes on a waiver that's gonna say, we are letting you use this operating system, but I wanna tell you that you're not going to have, you know, necessarily the updates required. We're not gonna, you know, support you. you it's, you're on your own, basically. So apparently this is going to be something. Um, I've seen a few websites, uh, tech websites that seem to have shown that new waiver to click, yeah, I agree, or I'm okay with it, uh, saying, well, you know, I'm not getting or possibly not getting any updates. Now, a couple of you come back to me saying, look, I like Windows 11 and I want to use it in an unsupported machine because I want to use it. Um, but now with that, I'm a little scared that I might not have updates. Um, here's the thing. Uh, what I think is that you'll probably get the updates anyways. I don't think that updates are not necessarily going to be there. But you might not get everything. Um, the updates might, you know, be only for certain aspects of the system like security updates for example but i don't think they're going to not update your system uh it would be a um it would in in terms of just security it would not be a good thing and it would put other users at risk because if your windows system is of course not supported and doesn't get security updates you're at very high risk of having problems, and that means you're at very high risk of also contaminating others with, you know, all sorts of malware and, and problems. So I doubt they will actually not, um, you know, update anybody that's unsupported. But I think what they're probably preparing themselves to is that if you have a machine that's unsupported, it's not impossible that at some point they're going to say, well, we're stopping here. So you might have it for a year or two. You might have it for three years, four years. And then someday it might be, well, if you're unsupported, if you're on a PC unsupported, we're not giving you updates and this is the end of the line. You know, I get a lot of people saying, well, you know, you can bypass all this stuff. You can't really bypass all this stuff. And what I mean by that is, yes, you bypass the stuff and makes you install it. But Microsoft has the last, um, you know, the last word here. It knows you're on an unsupported machine. Even if you, you know, tweak the, the image or whatever to install it, it knows you're on an unsupported machine. It knows. So if it decides to stop updates that will affect everybody whatever you're doing so that's very important to know um so the risk i don't think it's really near i mean you know october 5th if you get the image and you install it on a unsupported machine it's going to tell you it's going to tell you that technically you're not supposed to run windows 11. i think you will still continue having updates but i think what probably this prepares you to is at some point and that you don't know when it could be three months in it could be a year in it could be just in five years but at some point um they're just gonna say 
Here's the end of the line for unsupported users. And even this could be the end of the line for unsupported users, depending on their hardware. Uh, they might, you know, have, okay, six months in, people that have, you know, fifth generation or older, well, you're out. But we're going to continue with, you know, sixth and seventh generation, for example, and stuff like that. But it's obviously, the reason they're doing this is obviously, at some point, they're going to just say, stop, this is uh, unsupported, and we're not giving you any more updates. Which means it's up to you to decide if you want to, you know, install Windows 11 on an unsupported machine and risk maybe has stopping, you know, not having updates at a certain point, which is risky in a way. If that's your main machine, it can be, you know, it can be a, a problem. I, w I would recommend that if you want to use it on an unsupported machine, use it. Um, you know, on, on a machine that is not your main machine and, and, you know, you can still use it and play around with it. And if something happens, it doesn't matter. You can always go back to windows 10, but it's obvious that they're preparing themselves for, okay, here's the end of the line. And that's going to be it for unsupported machines. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.